making inference from summary statistics and box plot. Now, this is the summary statistics. Waiting times are to be compared uh, for two medical centers. So this is the statistics for medical center A and this is the statistics for B. Patients are chosen randomly at each center and a record taken of the number of minutes each patient waited past the appointment to see the doctor. The results are shown in the table. So, so you got the summary statistics, minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum, interquartile range, and the sample size. So the first question is, draw the box and whisker plot for the two samples using the same scale. So I've already drawn the, uh, so let me drag this down a little, okay, so that you can see. Okay, so yeah, we got the summary statistics for A and B. So this is medical center A and this is medical center B. So this is the medical center. This is medical, I'll write only B now. Okay, I should have written the whole thing properly. So this is B. Okay, so I'll let me write medical center B. Okay, so basically box and whisker is, this is the lowest, so this is 12, which is minimum. Then 20 is your uh, lower quartile, 22 is your upper uh, median, upper quartile, and maximum. And this is the uh, box and whisker for uh, center B. Minimum is 15, 21, and so on. Okay, now when you're comparing, when you want to make this decision, that whether one center, uh, the time required in one center is more than the other, you have to basically look at the box. Okay, box is what tells you uh, what is uh, that decision uh, you can make from that. So the, one of the things that you have to, two things that you basically look is one is the shift and is the overlap. So shift, median shift. So the look at the median. So median for center B is 26, and the median for center A is 22. So there is a shift or there is a difference of eight minutes. Now, this should not make you decide that center B has more waiting time, okay? Because you have to also look at the overlap. Now, if you look at the overlap, you have to look. So this is, this is the area of overlap. So this is from, say, 21 to 27 is common for both the boxes, okay? So in other words, you can say uh, almost the whole box of uh, A overlaps B, okay? There is almost a complete overlap of A on over B. So you can say overlap is, say, this is 27 and this is 21. So I'll say 27 minus 21, okay? Which is, of course, six minutes. So there's an overlap of six minutes or in other words, if you want to generalize it, you can say like this, box, so uh, box of medical center A, of medical center A, almost overlaps, almost overlaps, completely, completely the box of, the box of center A. Now what does that mean? What does that mean when you say they're overlapping? That means you can say when you're talking about box, the box is referring to your 50% of the data. So you can say about the middle 50 percent, not any 50 percent, the middle 50 percent of center B has the same time or same waiting time as of center A. So this means, so let me use a different color, this means, this means the middle 50 percent, the middle 50 percent of A is the same as 
is the same as B. The same as B. So this is the analysis. Okay. Now you have to make a decision. Okay. Would you infer or decide that the median waiting centers of patients of the two medical centers are likely to be the same? So yes, I would say they have the same waiting time because of overlap. Okay. Uh, that is uh, box, I will say like this, box A almost overlaps, almost overlaps B, though, though there is a significant shift, there is a significant significant median shift of eight minutes median shift of eight min minutes 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 okay i think that is we decide that they're almost the same okay so ultimately make a statement so I would, my statement is there is no change statistically you can say statistically statistically there is no change there is almost no difference in the waiting time i'll say wt waiting time of a and b center a and b 